beer pong balls, frisbees, goggles, mouth guards, guitar supplies. Welcome back to college. In college we had this couch that folded out and everyone called it the flip and fuck. And I thought that was a really underused euphemism for a weird day. Like, today was a real flip and fuck. Yeah, that lecture was a real flip and fuck. Getting to Ohio this week was a real flip and fuck. There are these two young fish swimming along, and they happen to meet an older fish swimming the other way, who nods at them and says, morning boys, how's the water? And the two young fish swim on for a bit, and then eventually one of them looks over at the other and goes, what the hell is water? There's one reason that this reading is more important than the others. It begins at a Super 8 down by the highway the night before school starts, freshman year. I'm nervous, I go downstairs for a drink of water at the ice machine, and I drop the ice bucket. A woman comes out from the desk and she says, are you okay, honey, you all right? I was like, fine, I'm sorry, I made the mess. She says, don't worry about the mess, but are you okay? And I said, yeah, I just, look. And I just unloaded on this lady. I just said, listen, tomorrow's my first day of college and I don't have the grades to get in there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay, but this, they made an exception to let me in. So this is like my one chance. This is the first time I've ever done anything in my life that my older brother didn't do first. And I don't know what I'm gonna do here and I don't know how I'm gonna stay here, but it's my one chance and I can't go home because I just don't want the same life as him. And she said, do you feel better now that you told somebody that? And I said, yeah. She said, if you feel that way tomorrow, go to the bookstore and ask for Denise. That's my mom. I said, okay. And so the next day I'm feeling the same way, but I walk into the bookstore and there is two entire shelves just of authors who've gone to the school. So I get this weird feeling again, like I don't belong here. And this woman walks up to me and she says, you know how you're finding everything okay? And I said, yeah, well, when, well, I'm sorry, is your name Denise? Because last night uh, I was at this hotel and, uh, and she goes, you must be Brendan. <laughs> yes, hi. She said, my daughter's gonna be so happy when she finds out that you made it through your first day. The reason we have to make it, no matter what, is because my reading today is at that bookstore. Flight delayed, trying to get back to Columbus. Flight is canceled, I'm on hold right now to find out if I can get a rental car and I'm gonna have to drive to Ohio every car. Waiting on a rental car now. The point of the fish story is merely that the most obvious, important realities are often the ones that are hardest to see and talk about. So nine. Bingo. Adulthood is the biggest scam in the world. There happen to be whole, large parts of adult American life that nobody talks about in commencement speeches. Important rule of road trips, you don't have to count calories. One such part involves boredom, routine, and petty frustration. It's 1.34 in the morning. I have a reading in less than 12 hours, halfway across the country. 3 a.m., time for a coffee. 4.20 in the morning. Somewhere in Pennsylvania. This is the 520 report. I feel more awake now than I did getting in the car. I found a Dunkin' Donuts. It's 710 now. The sun is chasing me. It's in the rear view mirror specifically. And I am freaking tired. All right, let's try a five hour energy citrus. I really smell bad. Oh God. If I could talk to myself from college, I wonder what I would say. Brendan? That was on the floor. Oh. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, say hi. Hi. Uh, oh my god, are you doing seatbelt selfie in the year 2000? I'm gonna crash the car for art, this is great. Never mind, put the camera down. All right, I'm really stressed out right now, so tell me, as me in college, like what's stressing you out right now? Stupid public radio. Radio? Who cares about, oh, right, right. Okay, a couple more years, you'll be fine. Don't worry about radio anymore. Oh my God, you're wearing the fork glasses. Oh God, my glasses broke and I didn't have the money to get them fixed. So I built those. Oh God, you couldn't pay me to have to walk around with fucking forks on my face. So here's my only advice to you, college friend. It doesn't matter what you do in college, it matters what you make.
Make a friend. Make a record. Make a movie with your friends. Make a terrible acoustic album. Make something. Make it better. Make it again. Make something great. Put the camera down and drive or we're never gonna make it to this reading. Is that a nice idea? <sighs> College me is a real idiot. Matt, transportation, John. Hey, John, this is Brendan Sullivan. I was trying to get picked up at the airport last night. I just rented a car at the airport and I drove through the night. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm still driving right now. And... Oh my god. Stood for there I see what most I want A really Kenyan man Okay. Almost to Ohio. 9.45. If I can make this the fastest rental car return in history, then the van's right there. I can maybe make it exactly on time. Maybe. Alright. I made it. Maybe 15 minutes late from zero sleep. None of this stuff is really about morality or religion or dogma or big fancy questions of life after death. The capital T truth is about life before death. It is about the real value of a real education which has almost nothing to do with knowledge and everything to do with simple awareness. Awareness of what is so real and essential, so hidden in plain sight all around us all the time that we have to keep reminding ourselves over and over, this is water, this is water.